Several residents of Armadillo and the surrounding area have gone missing over the past few months in separate incidents, but none have yet turned up either alive or dead. Local law enforcement bodies are urging residents to show extra caution when travelling in the backcountry on their own or when travelling at night. Often throughout history, we as humans have fantasised about monsters, and yet the greatest horrors of all are those that we've afflicted upon ourselves, or more accurately, each other. Today we're going to be exploring one such horror within Red Dead Redemption, in the side story known as American Appetites. The story begins at the Armadillo Sheriff's Office, at some point after completing the main story mission, Political Realities in Armadillo, which is the eighth main story mission in Red Dead Redemption. Standing outside the Sheriff's Office, we will meet a sobbing woman. Oh, they took my boy! My boy! Who did? He's missing. He's only a youngster. My boy is missing. Where? Who took him? Them people in the hills. Them hills near Hanging Rock. They took him. <laughs> can't the police force help you? Oh, they can't even help themselves. Please, sir. My son is missing. I need your help. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. Now we're tasked with heading into the hills to find this woman's son. Before we do, we can find an article about the missing child in the Blackwater Ledger. Young boy missing. Ralph Anderson, age 8 years. Please contact Grace Anderson of Armadillo with any information as to his whereabouts. Obviously it doesn't tell us very much, it's just a cool detail. We'll now be guided to an area northeast of Armadillo, where hopefully we'll find some clues that may lead to the whereabouts of this missing child. Most unfortunately though, all we find in the hills is the most minuscule amount of remains, some body parts, and a lot of blood. Are these the remains of Ralph Anderson? It would appear so, as that completes American Appetites Part 1. A short time later, Part 2 will become available back at the Armadillo Sheriff's Office. In order for Part 2 to become available, you need to complete Justice in Pike's Basin, the ninth main story mission in the game. This time, however, we find a sobbing man. <laughs> She's gone. Who is? My wife. She's gone. <laughs> She went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. <laughs> What'd the police do about it? <laughs> oh, about as much as you'd expect. Made me fill out a form. Beryl ain't strong, but she's a good girl. I'll see what I can do. <laughs> <laughs> Now I tasked with finding this poor man's wife, who also went missing up in the hills. The location we need to head to is not too far away from the previous one. Interestingly, both this poor man and the woman who came before him both seem to reference stories regarding people in the hills. Most unfortunately, once more, we appear to have arrived too late to be able to save Beryl. Finding only a puddle of blood, a shoe, a hat, and a severed arm thus completing part two of American Appetites. For part three to trigger, you must wait a brief period after completing part two and have completed the Bonnie McFarlane mission Wild Horses Tamed Passions. It's actually the sixth main story mission, but you can do them in a wonky order if you so wish to. Once more, we must return to the Armadillo Sheriff, where we will meet a third sobbing character. You okay, lady? My husband's missing. These bastards won't do anything. But he's a good man. He don't drink, nor lay with whores. And he's been, he's been missing for three days. Let me guess. You went missing up in the hills? How did you know, mister? Just a guess. If I find him, I'll bring him back to you. But people seem to go missing up there. <laughs> Oh my god, if he's gone, then what'll I do? We ain't got much money, and I'm with a family way again. As I said, I'll do what I can. <laughs> Once more, we're tasked with going to the same hills that we went to the last couple of times, however, this time things play out a little differently, as this time, we find somebody alive. Oh, oh, oh mister, mister! 
Some city fella just attacked me and broke my leg. What? He broke my leg. Some city fella. Guy got kind of creepy on me, and then he got violent. When? Just now. Uh, he ran off that way. Can't have gone too far. If I find him, I'll bring him back this way. Thank you, mister. <laughs> This guy lets out one hell of a creepy laugh, which is where my suspicion begins to arise. We're now tasked with chasing down his assailant, which shouldn't be too difficult. You're all crazy! Don't take me back to that man! This is a nightmare! <laughs> if things weren't already interesting, they're about to be. Please! I'll do anything! Oh my good lord! Please get that man away from me! Uh, uh, hey, fella. Uh, <laughs> you broke this poor fool's leg, mister. Uh, this maniac tried to eat me. We've got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. What? Please. Fella's got to eat now. Fella's got to eat. Uh, <laughs> save me from this freak, please. Please. <laughs> now we need to choose. Let this man be eaten or save his life. And that brings us to the end of the side story, American Appetites. So now we know what happened to Ralph and Beryl, and likely several people before them. They were murdered, and then eaten by a man named Randall Forrester. Forrester spent the months leading up to the events of Red Dead Redemption 1, stalking the hills out near Armadillo, picking off residents of the area, murdering them, and cannibalizing their bodies. Until one man put up a fight and broke his leg, giving us enough time to get to them, and figure out what was going on before subduing Forrester before he could claim another victim. What's interesting is, in every single part of American Appetites, there is a character involved who seems to know that there is a person involved in the disappearances, though every single reference is plural, as in there's more than one cannibal out in these hills. Them people in the hills, them hills near Hanging Rock, they took it. <laughs> she went out picking mushrooms in the hills near Hanging Rock and they got her. The stories are true. We got cannibals in these here hills. Please help me. Obviously in the game, there's only Randall Forrester, but for speculation's sake, could there be an entire community of cannibals out here? Randall may be the only one we see, but it seems as if people are convinced that there's more than one person responsible for the disappearances going on up here in the hills near Hanging Rock. I know we can meet a cannibal in Undead Nightmare, just yamming on his mate at the side of the road. Maybe there's a chance that he could be a part of this cannibal community in the continuity of the main games, but that's in a separate canon, so I'm not sure if it's relevant. But I'd love to know what you think about that one. Anyway, that concludes today's video on American Appetites. So, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff, that would be super fantastic. And with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point, but until next time, take care and goodbye.